hey, here's your new hard drive. And uh, this is a hard drive that doesn't require power, and it's going to plug in here, and you're going to plug it into an available USB. Once you do that, down at the bottom of your computer and your PC, you're going to see some um, in drivers installing, right? Just cancel everything. Uh, don't cancel everything, but cancel anything that pops up in the middle that says if you want to view your files, just cancel that. Now make sure you're running the latest iTunes version. Uh, this version is here is... Um, it is uh, version 11.04, okay? And when you do, you go over here to the menu bar. Make sure you click on this little thing here and make sure that you um, you show menu bar, all right? I already have it showing here. So here it is, the menu bar. Now, if you go into edit, I want you to go into edit. I want you to go into preferences, and I want you to go to the tab advanced. Go in over here and see it says here, copy files to iTunes Media when adding to library you want that not you do not want that checked off because if you do and you import all these songs you're gonna fill up your whole entire hard drive on your computer you can keep your files organized that's fine alright so once you do that make sure you hit apply or OK at the bottom and now you're able to import so what you're gonna do is with your drive plugged in you're gonna hit file and then add files uh, add uh, folder to library so then you're just basically going to go into your hard drive. You're going to see it's probably named uh, Christina. And we're going to go into Ferrandino Music. And then you hit uh, Select Folder. When you hit the Select Folder, now you're going to see iTunes go nuts. And you can't use iTunes and you can't use your computer while this is happening. It's going to take a couple of hours to do. It's going to import all those songs, every single one that's on the drive. You can, of course, investigate the drive and see which ones. Uh, maybe you want to do one at a time, but I recommend importing the whole thing so you can get album artwork and everything. And the best thing is all the storage is on the drive, on the external drive, and not on your internal hard drive. So you're not taking any sense. All it's doing is making shortcuts to the uh, files that are on the hard drive, okay? So after you're done finishing this video, you can, you know, erase it, right mouse button, erase it. Uh, I just wanted to have it there so that you know how to set it up with iTunes. Now, every time you listen to music, you have to have the hard drive plugged in. You can unplug it and take it around. Now, when you unplug your hard drive, I want to make sure that you go down here and you click on this little icon right there. You click on that icon, and what it's going to do is it's going to tell you to eject. Do not just pull the drive wire USB out because you will wreck the drive that way sooner or later. So we're not going to do that now because it's importing all these songs. Uh, it's about four or five hundred gigabytes of songs and you can see that it has a lot of uh, old music and, and a lot of good music. So that's pretty much how you do it. You can close iTunes when you're done. Just let it import and then when it's done importing, if you go to that file again, uh, you won't be able to do it now, but if you go into, um, uh, it might be like store or edit or whatever, and then find a thing that says download album artwork and then your album artwork will pop up. Uh, not all of them are going to, you know, have album artwork, and not all the files are going to work. Uh, if they do, they just hit, oh, you know, just hit dismiss if they give you an error message. But the majority of the songs do get uh, imported into your iTunes and without any use of your uh, hard drive storage on your computer. And uh, you can connect this to multiple computers, and I hope you enjoy it. So...